Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2021 Subaru Forester Limited, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The fifth generation Subaru Forester debuted just a couple of years ago, so it carries on into 2021 with relatively few changes. The other popular Forester slots between the smaller Subaru Crosstrek and the larger three-row Ascent. It's loaded with tons of standard driver aids and tech, and thanks to standard all-wheel drive and decent ground clearance, it's better than most of the competition off-road. There's a plethora of great choices for a small SUV, with just about every mainstream automaker offering a similar-sized vehicle. Top competitors include the well-rounded Honda CRV and Toyota RAV4. The 2021 Subaru Forester is available in five trim levels, base, premium, sport, limited, and touring. And as with nearly all Subarus, all-wheel drive is standard on all trim levels. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 Subaru Forester. Real quick, before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links in the description below. During the intro, I mentioned two of the main competitors that compete against the Forester. I've done build and price reviews of both of them. I recently did a build and price review of the 2021 Honda CRV in the EXL trim with all wheel drive, that means with leather interior. And I also did the 2021 Toyota RAV4 XLE Premium with all wheel drive. I also mentioned the Subaru Ascent in the intro. And I did a build and price review of the 2021 Subaru Ascent in the premium trim. So make sure after you watch this video, you watch one or two of those other videos as well. All right, let's jump into this. Let's jump in this by start off looking at uh, looking at the specific Forester models, right? There's there's five trim levels. You got your base model Forester. You've got a you've got your premium. You've got a sport. You've got a limited. And you also have a touring. Now, the base model Forester starts at $24,795. I think it's reasonably equipped. It has a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. That engine makes 182 horsepower, makes 176 pound feet of torque. Uh, it's made it to an automatic transmission that's called a CVT. There's 17 inch steel wheels. There's adaptive LED headlights that swivel as you turn the steering wheel for better illumination in the curves. Uh, there's automatic high beams. There's Subaru Starlink app suite that includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration. Uh, there's a 6.5 inch touchscreen infotainment system and automatic climate control. Subaru EyeSight comes standard on the Forester. It's their suite of driver aids. So the base model Forester also get all Foresters get the Subaru EyeSight. Uh, that includes adaptive cruise control, for collision mitigation, lane departure warning, and lane keeping assist. Now, moving up to the premium, the premium is going to start at $27,795. The premium trim includes all of the base model's features, and then it adds 17-inch alloy wheels. You get the raised roof rails, fog lights, keyless entry with push-button start, panoramic sunroof, tinted rear windows, power-adjustable driver's seat, and 4G LTE Wi-Fi. Uh, the premium also comes standard with the all-weather package, which gives you uh, heated front seats, heated steering wheel, and windshield wiper de-icer. There's also uh, multiple drive modes for improved traction in certain scenarios with the premium trim level. Uh, there's also uh, there's options. The only option, really, to get on the premium is the blind spot monitor with rear cross-traffic alert. And, and a power lift gate. Those are two options that if you're looking at the premium, yeah, you might want those. Okay, moving further up the tier, you have the Forester Sport for $29,395. Uh, and as the name implies, this trim gets some sporty touches. Uh, you get the 18-inch alloy wheels. You get black and orange interior and exterior accents. LED fog lights. Uh, standard blind spot monitor with cr uh, rear cross traffic alert. Options on the Forester Sport include the Harman Kardon audio system, uh, integrated navigation system, a power lift gate, and a rear automatic brake. Next is the Forester Limited. That's the one we're going to build in price on the channel today. It has a starting MSRP of $31,395. Now, the limit. The Limited ditches the sport's black and orange theme, uh, but it adds an 8-inch touchscreen display. 
you get the dual zone automatic climate control. Now you get leather upholstery, which if you watch this channel, you know I like leather seating. You also get the power lift gate. Options on the limited include the Harman Kardon audio system, uh, the navigation system, uh, rear automatic braking, and a heated steering wheel. The touring trim is the top tier spec for the Subaru Forester. Uh, it includes all the limited. It's, it includes all the options of the limited, uh, and then it gives you more adjustment and memory settings for the driver's seat. You get power adjustable passenger seat. You get standard driver monitoring system, which it basically it's like a drowsy driver like alert kind of system. No, trying to pay attention if you're fatigued. Uh, you get heated back seats. You get heated rear seats, and you also get that heated uh, steering wheel. Okay, let's check out the exterior colors for the 2021 Subaru Forester. Here they show us the Limited. You can see the colors for a Limited and a Sport. We can see the Sport has a lot less colors than the Limited. Fortunately, we're going to be building and pricing a Limited, which has more colors. Let's first do this little spin around, which spins very nicely. We can get a 360 walk around of the 2021 Forester. It's a very nice vehicle. This color is a crystal white pearl. We have sepia bronze metallic. Magnetite gray metallic, horizon blue, jasper green, no thank you, ice silver, crystal black, and crimson red. Even though we're not going to do the sport, we'll take a look at the colors. We're right here. There's crystal white pearl, there's the black, there's ice silver, uh, which is, it actually looks nice with the, with, the, with the orange accents. I like that. There's the dark blue, which actually looks kind of cool too. And the Magnetite Gray. All those colors look really cool. So here's the interior of the 2021 uh, Subaru Forester. Uh, they're showing here gray leather. We can also have gray cloth. You can see it change a little bit, although that doesn't really look gray to me. Gray cloth. What's this gray sport cloth? Okay, that looks more gray to me. This was gray leather, and that was gray cloth, but yet it doesn't look gray. This looks like gray sport cloth. This is black cloth. The black cloth's not too bad looking. Here's your black leather. I like it. And you've got your saddle brown leather. That's going to be in your, uh, in your touring model. I'm almost positive most uh, Subarus, the touring trim level, gets the brown leather interior. So as you saw when we are looking at the interior colors, we could take a 360-degree interior walk around review and we're going to do just that of the 2021 Forester. It looks nice. Is there a sunroof in there? Yep, there's a sunroof. Uh, it looks good. Looks nice in here. Seats are nice. Carpets are nice. You got some vent controls back there. Uh, you got some accent stitching on the seats. Probably some decent amount of soft touch materials. Push button start. All looks in order there. Yeah, you got some other stuff up here. You got those extended uh, things for your uh, sun visors when the sun gets in your eye and that in those spots that the visor doesn't reach. So you got the slide outs, got the sunglass holder, all that kind of stuff. Looks good. All right, so let's take a look at the gallery. We're going to take a look at the exterior photos and the interior photos. We kind of breezed through the – looked – glazed over the exterior photos in the overview but we'll look a little deeper and look at the interior photos then we'll check out the features just to just to get a deeper dive on the features and then we'll do our build and price all right so there's only 12 exterior photos uh, here's the sport shown in that dark blue and that actually looks really really cool uh, here they're showing more sport shot of the available led steering responsive headlights they're showing a touring. We're not going to really get some. We're not getting great photos, but yeah, we we can see it. The Forester actually looks like a, a much smaller Ascent. To me, it looks very similar in shape to the Subaru Ascent. Honestly, just a little bit smaller, just a little bit smaller. All right, let's move on. Take a look at the tent. <laughs> look at that tent. That's hilarious. Let's move on and take a look at the interior photos. All right, there's the uh, touring and the saddle brown leather high-end stuff nice cargo space got a 60 40 split folding seat back uh that looks really really nice here's your starlink 8 inch infotainment uh system uh showing apple carplay android auto navigation available rear seat air conditioning vents usb charging ports uh here's your driver focus driver distraction mitigation system up there panoramic sunroof 
Uh, there's uh, X modes for the sport. You got your off-road modes or whatever, snow dirt modes, snow modes, things like that. Here's the 8-inch. They're showing the 8-inch multimedia. Didn't we already see that? Uh, here they're showing the 6040 uh, available cargo space again and an interior shot of the sport. All right, so the gallery images were a little disappointing. I'm with you on that if you're feeling the same way. Uh, but now let's check out the features. And we'll go through this page, and after we go through the features, then we'll go spec out our uh, our limited tim uh, trim level. So I kind of covered this in the configurations. Uh, standard EyeSight driver assist technology, right? Uh, cruise con adaptive cruise control, lane centering, pre-collision braking, all that kind of good stuff. Standard on every, uh, I've pretty much, it's, I'm sure it's standard on every Subaru, much less uh, the Forester. Okay, so this Subaru Driver Focus Distraction Mitigation System, it's standard on the Touring, and it's that drowsy driver system thing. It works in conjunction with the uh, EyeSight Driver Assist technology. Here they're talking about the blind spot detection, the rear cross traffic alert. Well, we got another slide here, the rear cross traffic alert. This is the blind spot detection here. This would be the rear cross traffic alert. Down here they let us know what models things are standard on and available on. Uh, all blind spot detection, rear cross traffic alert. We're building and pricing the Limited. It's standard on Limited. It's actually standard on the Sport, Limited, and the Touring. You've got your Subaru Starlink. Everybody's got an app. Subaru has an app as well. It's standard on every one of them except for the base model. You can do things like uh, remotely start your engine, set the climate control, all that kind of stuff, get collision notifications, uh, send out SOS alerts, stuff like that. Cool things. Everybody's got an app. Subaru's no different. Like I said, there's the app. Standard all-wheel drive. Uh, here's the, they're talking again about that uh, Starlink multimedia, and it's the, it's their infotainment. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It's a touchscreen. It's, it's voice activated. You can get a voice activated navigation system powered by TomTom. Tom. Uh, you can wirelessly pair your devices hands free. Uh, there's apps that are included in there. And what else do we have here? Uh, they're talking about cargo capacity. So there's 111.9 cubic feet of passenger volume, uh, which is more. Then the CRV, the RAV4, and the Ford Escape. FYI, I have done a build and price review of the 2020 Ford Escape. Uh, so, yeah, you can check my channel out on that. They say there's 76.1 cubic feet of cargo space, and that's good. Here's that other slide. They're showing the, the cargo space right there. And what do we got? So this is the uh, X mode. This is uh, standard on the Sport, the Limited, and the Touring, I guess. You get 8.7 inches of ground clearance, which is more than, well, they're telling you the CRV, the Tucson, and all that. You get hill descent and all of that. And this, this X-Mode optimizes the all-wheel drive. It's a dual-function mode, so you can, you can uh, have settings for snow, dirt, and mud. Very cool. So what I like about the Limited is the Limited gets all the ruggedness. Well, the Limited and the Touring, really. They get all the ruggedness of the Sport, but then they get more luxury. Leather seats, etc. You can get a rear seat entertainment system. Uh, no thank you. <laughs> uh, it's basically some iPads. You get a couple of iPads. I think you could probably just go buy your own iPads. Here they're going to tell us about the durability. Uh, they say 97% of Forrester vehicles sold in the last 10 years are still on the road. Uh, the CRV and the RAV4 can't say the same thing. Uh, standard panoramic sunroof on every model except for the base. Okay, we went through everything. Let's jump into the build here. We, I've got the Forrester Limited already pulled up. Standard CVT transmission. You get no other option. Here's those colors. What colors did I say that I haven't even liked? Horizon Blue actually isn't too bad the horizon blue uh you've got that magnetite gray we're certainly not going to do the jasper green uh the sepia bronze no thank you uh you know i'm not really sure what color i like to be honest with you so i'm gonna go ahead and say give me the horizon uh blue pearl now really only gray leather there's only gray leather available we cannot get black leather interior how is this possible how is this possible and that gray leather look at that that's man it looks like a space suit at any rate packages here you got the optional package gives you the reverse automatic braking 
Uh, you get the Harman Kardon audio system, the heated steering wheel. This is where all the little uh, all the little options I said that were available uh, on the uh, on the on the limited trim level. It's basically seventeen hundred dollars. Let's go ahead and throw that in. We're at basically thirty four thousand, just over thirty four thousand dollars. The rest of this stuff is accessories, and they say they got sixty six of them. Everything from cargo nets. Uh, so, rear view mirrors with the compass, which I actually love that. I got to get that. Cargo separator, all weather floor liners. I don't think we're going to get much of this stuff. We're just going to take a look at it. Engine underguard aluminum, uh, so to protect the engine un under the engine bay. I think that's probably important. Otherwise, they probably wouldn't put it there. Why don't you just Why don't you just beef that up anyway from the factory? I do like the rear seat back protectors. I think that stuff's really cool. Uh, hitches. I won't be doing any towing. STI is the, like the performance stuff, uh, like STI is the performance uh, brand of Subaru. You may or may not know that. We're not going to go through all of these. Uh, we're not going to go through all these these features here because it's got stuff like what ashtray holders, right? Uh, you got the cargo cover, <laughs> cargo cover. That's standard. Uh, you got uh, cargo organizers. Yeah, you get where I'm going. Cigarette lighters. We don't need to go through this stuff. This is stuff that you can go to your local Subaru dealer and pick this stuff up in the accessory department, the parts department, at any time. So as we can see in the summary then, with that all said, uh, started life, this vehicle, $31,395. Uh, we're out the door at $34,824. You know, we added the optional packets for $1,700. We threw in about just under $700 in accessories, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, yeah, there we go. So there's our 2021 uh, Subaru Forester Limited. I like it. The only thing I don't like is that we can't – the black leather interior was not an option. That's the only thing that I don't like. Uh, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. So if you found this review of the 2021 Subaru Forester Limited helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day. And I will see you on the very next video.